Hi guys, Rui here with Nanitude for Blender and today we're gonna talk about Mesh Machine. Mesh Machine is one of the most important add-ons for me. It's one of the five add-ons that I use every day, all day and will never stop. It's hard ops, box cutter, mesh machine, decal machine and machine tools. These are the key add-ons in my workflow and I'll show you why Mesh Machine is so important. Now you can access Mesh Machine by simply pressing Y. And you can see all kinds of options you have in here. So you can, first you have options regarding bevels, you know, all these fuse, change with flatten. Flatten has also other uses, but unfuse, refused, unchamfer, unbevel, unfuck, all these are actually most mostly uh, bevel related. Turn corner, quad corner as well, okay? And so actually are loops as well. It's a bit more advanced use, but they serve the same sort of purpose then you got cleanup and sort of normal transfer boolean related so boolean cleanup and uh, with chamfer is a bit different but offset and stash uh, normals uh, these options here so view stashes clear stashes um, are related to normal transfer and you got uh, additional tools here on the bottom so you, know, you could split mesh one one another you could select verts by groups uh, you could symmetrize mesh and um, you could actually flatten uh, normals. So it works similarly to hardened normals. It's actually from back in the day when Blender didn't have weighted normals modifier. I don't really use it that much now, but you know, you might find it useful occasionally. But these are like key elements of mesh machine, in my opinion, and that's what makes it so amazing. So let me show you how it works. So I'm going to select an edge and uh, shift G direction. Let's create a chamfer, grab, grab these two faces and do something like this. Now, if I wanted to create a bevel like this in Blender, right, I would most likely, you know, uh, needed to simply first uh, create the face, I mean, grab the edge, then create this kind of shape and so a chamfer and then bevel it, right? But once I do that, I'm baked. I cannot do anything about it. Now, the cool thing about Mesh Machine is that not only you can create, um, you can create, you know, uh, bevels like this. So I simply go to uh, Y and fuse it, but then you can also adjust it afterwards. So once I, you know, decided, okay, this is what I want, but then I say, well, you know, I want to change it. All I need to do is select these, press Y and refuse it. And then I'm simply refusing the whole thing. I can change, you know, I can taper it. Then I can press W. I can actually change the width of it. I can adjust, you know, amount of segments. Then you can, you can see how many options you have in here, right? So you have different kinds of options um, regarding uh, these bevels. In addition, a bevel created by any other means, right, can be actually unfused as long as it's actually running through quads. If I unfuse this, right, it's going to go back to uh, to the chamfer and I can also unchamfer it and go back to a flat surface, which is just, you know, genius. I mean, how easy that was, right? Let's say you have a cube, right, and you have you grabbed three corners, actually, you know what, let's grab all the corners, right? And just bevel it like this. That's a typical default um, control B uh, chamfer from um, Blender. The problem is that it creates triangles, you see that? And triangles are not really desirable for, uh, for that kind of workflow. So what you want to do is change them with Mesh Machine to a quad corner. In addition, you can flip it. So you can rotate it. You can change the width of it, right, as well. So now we got this um, quad and you think, well, yeah, but now we're going to have to, you know, run it on all the corners. Well, now if you have hard ops, because life is too short to fuck about in vanilla, you know what I mean? I'm done. So now I got these corners and our quads. So now I can play around with actually fusing the damn thing. So let's apply the mirror. So let's go to operations and apply smart apply. And now I can grab this and this and run, you know, uh, fuse it across. And then I can, you know, grab this one and fuse it across and so forth and so on. And then I can just simply copy it all around and I'm done. And, you know, this, um, this bevel, right, is still adjustable. So watch this. 
uh, all I need to do, right? Let me let me apply this mirror. It's gonna be easier to show you. So let me grab this part. Okay, go to Y and unfuse. See what I mean? And go here and unchamfer. Boom. And that's how easy it is. And I'm almost back at the cube. All I need to do, literally, is get rid of this uh, this. Um, unfuse this part and then unchamfer this and I'm back in a cube so I let me apply the mirror so operations and smart apply and sharpen and I'm done and I'm back in a cube that's how fast that is so for example if you you know you find yourself in a situation when you have baked bevels you're fine you can you can fix it you know it's just that easy but there is more to it guys um, check this out let's select this edge and shift G and then chamfer it and now well, not chamfer it I wanted to bevel it actually like this and then let's grab this face and see if it's gonna work better for us there we go so I got this overshooting edges right so all I need to do is select this and this with control go to Y and click on unfuck and I'm just gonna do exactly that unfuck and again you can see you have options so you have presets like Z, X, C, right? Tension presets, but you can also set the width, okay? So you can set or stop the width, or you can set, uh, so you press W to lock the width, and then you press T to play with tension, okay? Okay, and then you press T again, and then you press W again and play with width. And then you simply copy it uh, across, and you're done. Whoops, I need to use symmetry for this one, so let's change from uh, modifier to symmetry and copy it with uh, with shift and I think it worked there we go it should work there you go see so that's how easy that is okay it's just it's pleasure to work with another function of this tool yeah would be um, will be flatten and flatten is really cool so check this out I'm gonna grab this cube and grab this edge and shift G direction and uh, bevel the bevel the edges so chamfer them right and now let's say I wanted to grab this shape right and I wanted to I change my mind and I wanted this this face and this face to be you know at the um, following y axis okay so this way so what I'm gonna do is grab this face and this face I'm gonna press y and flatten okay boom so what happens is right this face, the second face, is using the first face normals to to adjust to its direction, and that's how it works. It's just brilliant. And then I copy it across and here, and I'm back to a quad, to a you know, to a box. It's just that easy. I, I'm, I'm, it's amazing. This tool is amazing. So that's flatten, but flatten goes deeper than that. Okay, flatten goes on a um, down to vert um, level. Okay, so it's it's beautiful that's what it is and blender crushed so I have to do it again blender crushed so we need to do it again so anyway there was a box and let's grab this box and let's adjust the box box edge let's grab something like this and let me show you what I mean so let's remove this and if I wanted to for example move this edge you know this edge right a bit to the middle right it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that easy because even if I move it on um, on the y-axis you see that I'm losing this kind of like a you know um, this arch right It'd be really tricky to do that but it's easy with mesh machine because you move one point to wherever you want this edge to be at select all the two verts right and then you simply write flatten and then you done because it will simply flip the whole face you copy it and you're done and that's why mesh machine is worth 40 bucks in fact it's worth much more but we're lucky enough to be able to get it for 40 bucks that's what i wanted to say let's talk about some um, normal transfer and all the just so let's grab this and object fine and let's change it to circle and let's cut a hole in it now I'm going to um, go to Y and stash all my normals right 
and then I'm going to apply this cutter, so operations and smart apply. I'm going to recall it and grab this cutter and select this mesh and um, stash the information, okay? Now let's hide the cutters and let me show you what, what's this all about. I'm going to select this edge and first of all I'm going to show you boolean cleanup. The days of manually cleaning verts are gone. So unless you're crazy and you want to do it manually, you're going to do the proper thing, the right thing, and get mesh machine. Boolean cleanup. One move of the mouse. So I scroll, I move my mouse, I click, and I'm done. And people in vanilla are going to be finished in 2075. So I'm going to move all these booleans, I'm not booleans, verts around because I don't want them to be too close to the edge, you don't want that. Also these angles like this, really steep ones, they're not really desirable, do you want to fix them? Okay, so I'm going to do something like this, probably connect these verts here. So you do need to do a bit of manual cleanup, but it's actually not as bad as if you were doing it from scratch. So I'm going to run the edge here. Fine, this one is way too steep, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna remove that, and these two, that's a bad news, okay? You don't wanna have two edges going into one, into one vert like this, especially not at this angle, okay? So that's not a good idea. And you know what? I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't care. So in fact, okay, uh, let's just run a quick one here. So we're gonna do something like this, okay? And literally, I'm done. So, Let's combine these and I'm done. And now what I'm going to do is um, around the edge here. So select the edge um, around this cut. Okay. Get a bit closer, so easy to select. And I'm going to, you can create an offset. So you can go to offset and you can, with your mouse um, scroll, you can choose which direction you want it to go. Right. And then if you, if you want an offset, I mean, you don't have to have it, but if you want one, that's the option to do it. And then I can select the whole edge loop with one click and bevel it. And then I'm going to select this edge and click plus maybe three times. And I'm going to deselect because you need to deselect these ch um, bevels, okay? You do not want normal transfer tool going through either sharp edges or bevels. This offset rim is fine, but not the bevels. Then I'm going to go to normals and transfer. And then you need to choose between two stashes. One of them is flipped, you can see, because that's for the cutter. And the other one is for the sphere. So I'm going to select this one. And now if you go to, um, now if you go to matcap, uh, not this one, um, if you go to matcap and change it to something reflective, you can see that, you know, shading is just perfect right so that's how you use normal transfer offset and boolean cleanup okay now there are other tools like for example let's see uh, let's grab this cube and let's chamfer it right and then stuff like for example width you know so you can grab this and play with the width of it and you can change the rotation so you can press r to change which direction it goes right and then you can uh, change, for example, modes in, in the fuse. So if I go to fuse here, this is actually a good example here. If I hold my shift and I switch between, see that's fuse, see that's fuse and that's bridge. And bridge method is from Blender. Sometimes bridge is better than fuse, so try both if you have problems, right? And now what we can do is we can just simply run the edge here if you wanted to, right? Or we can just flatten it, but if you flatten it, it might not work the way we want to. So let's try it, see? See, it's lifting it, right? So it's lifting its edge, but if I wanted to keep this edge at the same height, I wanted to connect these two. Where is this vert here? Connect these two, and I'm going to grab um, this edge and this edge and go to flatten, and it will move this one down to this level. You see, that's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. So again, Mesh Machine is just unrivaled in these kind of situations, okay? That's what Mesh Machine is all about. And if you combine it with stuff like, you know, hard ops, right? See, we got a bevel problem here, 
and the reason for it is that simply the angle is not catching see the angle is not catching the bevel so we can select this edge mark it sharp and then change bevel from angle to weight and everything is peachy so that's how you use um, mesh machine if you want to learn more about mesh machine i suggest you go to machine website on youtube and uh, there are a lot of detailed tutorials there you can also go to gumroad on blood the market and read his uh, documentation there's a very documentation on the tool and if you want to buy it you want to buy a decal machine mesh machine hard dubs and box cutter i'm leaving links affiliate links in the description of the video so if you buy through these links you're gonna help me as well so i appreciate that if you did Thanks again for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, give me a like and sub if you did enjoy the video and I'll talk to you in the next one.